Hello, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Leandra and as always, thank you guys so much for choosing to spend your precious and sacred time with me on this video. It is currently raining in Seabag, Washington. I love Seabag usually, but especially when it rains because it's just so magical and the forest and just the nature and everything. It's just, it's amazing. Um, but I just got out of my first two doctrinal classes for law school. For those of you who have watched my other videos, that is my criminal law class at 6 a.m. and then my civil procedures class at 7.55. It is currently about 9.40 and I do have things to do, we will get stuff done, but I don't know what happened last night when I was asleep. I haven't really delved really into like astral projection and walking in different realities or anything like that, but I definitely feel like something went wrong or something happened when I was asleep last night because I woke up this morning really tired. I feel like I've been running marathons in my sleep. I had really troubled sleep last night. I kept waking up really sweaty too, like three times during the night. So I just don't feel very restful. And I mentioned in my routine video that some days I have like a full on like productive day where I just do stuff the entire morning and then some other days my productivity includes taking a nap. I have my break between 9 30 when my last civil procedure class ends and then my contract class begins at 12 35 i do need to review for my contracts class which we will do um but i'm gonna go take an hour nap or just lay down for an hour and just relax for an hour because i'm just like tired um it's very much like head empty during my classes for the last couple hours so my body is telling me that i need to sleep so I'm gonna take a nap and honestly taking a nap can be very productive i believe that it is absolutely productive so we can do that first and then we'll get on with the rest of the law school productivity before the nap i didn't put any food out this morning i'm about to but he's just staring at me <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and put some food out for him and we are back baby like i feel so much better i look so much better like my eyes are way more open <laughs> than they were um when i first started this vlog but i was supposed to wake up um uh, about 30 ish minutes ago uh but that's okay i slept in a little bit when i was sleeping we had the window open and it started raining a lot more so it just sounded so good the window just let in all the rain sound and it lulled us to sleep because george is still asleep right now Ah, it's like legitimately storming. It's so cleansing and calm. I love it so much. Ah, okay, I can't stay here. I need to review, I need to review. So let's go inside and review for my contracts. Before I do that, I do want to make myself a late breakfast. Um, we're moving out of Washington um, within the next couple of days. So on Friday afternoon, we'll be gone from this Airbnb and gone from this magical place, which sucks. But I'm kind of working through my food. I did not go grocery shopping this last week, so I'm trying to eat everything. Um, so I ran out of my usual like uh, toast um, and like avocado toast ingredients. So I'm just going to make these little falafels from Trader Joe's. They're so good. I'm going to pop them into the oven, get my contract stuff out and review 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 that the doctors fit so we're trying to understand what material what the material of benefit is the last part and what's he do so he sees the last part which says uh shows on the screen that you need like seven hundred thousand something points um to gain this <laughs> Yeah, the, the fighter jet, basically. Why does, according to the court, why does, why does Leonard lose? He loses because um, there was no, the, the offer wasn't serious. It was clear that the offer was not serious. Am I still on call for tomorrow? Everybody's always on call. Okay. <laughs> Here's to being cold called for the first time in true Socratic method way. That was insane. <laughs> like you said my name and I just started uh, sweating. Like I just started just just perspiring like <laughs> my heart just like raced so much better than coffee the rush that you get so much better than coffee 
Um, I asked at the end of class because when he cold calls at the end of class, you never know if you're going to start the next session. Um, so I asked and he told me that everyone's always on call. So that probably means that I am on the call for the next class, which is tomorrow. And I will be on call for the next hour and 30 minutes, which is not fun at all. <laughs> it's not fun at all. Um, during class today, there was, he tried to draw something on the whiteboard on Zoom. And it just really confused us. So someone, I don't know, people just um, just make memes during class. So someone took like, uh, went and made a meme of his little chart that he made. And I'll show you guys because it's actually really funny. I started laughing and I had to turn my Zoom camera off because I was just kind of, this is absolutely freaking hilarious. But it just means that on top of what I had to do today already for my crim class i also have to extra 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 review for my contracts class because today's people who were like on call for the hour or so it's kind of rough because he was asking them like a bunch of questions and stuff so yeah i'm gonna try and prepare my best or to my best uh, what am i even trying to say my heart is just racing okay i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say i don't know it is so dark in my room since we were taking it out we had the windows all shut but i am about to head off to town or to silverdale which is the closest town from here um before i come back and then we have to do like law school work things um since i have more stuff to do um but i have to go grab my medication i also i'm kind of excited to go and drive right now because it's nice i love driving in the rain um it's just so comforting and i need to grab my medication i also need to upload my files for the last vlog which you guys probably already saw before this one i've been trying to upload it for days now but because obviously i'm up here it takes a while um i did try to do that yesterday i went down to town sat at the starbucks the internet wasn't working so i used my hotspot i said that kind of fucked up my hotspot um so i don't want to do that again so i'm going to try and go back to the starbucks and see if their wi-fi is working today um so i can use it and just upload it really fast because it's like literally six it's six six files left and it's gonna take me four hours and that said four hours four hours ago so it's just not working um so i'm gonna try and get it to work but yeah let's go for a nice drive and yeah <laughs> I feel like I've been gone for a really long time, but I really haven't. It's just dark outside, so it just feels like it's been night. But I really love this weather, and apparently it's gonna be here until we leave on Friday. So I'm really happy about that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't find like a Wi-Fi spot to upload my things faster. So I'm gonna just continue to upload it here. Hopefully, I get everything sent to my editor by tomorrow so that she can have it ready for you guys by the weekend i wanted to have it up earlier but it's just the way that it is but i did stop at trader joe's and got um this lemon ginger cayenne thingy like drink why did i call it a thingy it's a drink it's like a little immune health like support drink i'm really prone to colds i have a really weak immune system and i'm scared to get a cold now because i feel like everyone's just gonna want me to quarantine or will forcibly quarantine me so i got this because <laughs> i felt like a weird itch in my throat yesterday and uh we'll just we're just gonna drink that really quickly and i got this uh blueberry lavender almond beverage drink um just because it's pretty <laughs> it looks really pretty and i'm gonna try and make my coffee with it right now it's about 5 10 i do have to do my reading for my criminal law class like i said in the last couple of vlogs um, my criminal law professor does not tell us when to stop reading so we kind of have to judge by ourselves when to stop reading and we've been behind on the syllabus for a while so we've been taking it slow and when I was reading over the weekend on Sunday for the class, I read, didn't want to read too much ahead because then I'll have to go back and reread. So I just read and stopped up 
approximately where he stopped today and then we have class tomorrow so i have to do the readings for tomorrow uh it's about 25 pages of cases both actual cases and then notes with cases in the notes that i have to read because he mentions them um so i have to get that done so i'm gonna make some coffee then i also need to review for contracts because again i'm on call <laughs> I look super shiny. I'm still outside. It is almost 8 p.m. And I'm by the fire, which is I have so much light and it's so comforting. I've said comforting a lot during this vlog, but I feel very comforted by my environment and I'm very sad that I will be leaving this environment very soon. So sad. I just finished my reading um, early. I was expecting to kind of be here at 8, uh, like 10 p.m. So I'm really happy that I'm done. Um, and now I'm moving on to filling out application to be a 1L representative for some on-campus student organizations that I'm really like, interested in and I actually wanted to that is the trees all rustling together so let's let them have their moment I wanted to talk about this really interesting and helpful exercise that we did for my professional development class and they had us basically write our values from when we were like a kid and our values now and watch the TED and watch like TED talks about um, intrinsic motivation and the importance of making decision based on intrinsic motivation and not extrinsic motivation like other people's opinions and values and all the other stuff I thought it was really super interesting first because it's nice to see or interesting to see how your values change throughout like time and see what you value now versus what you valued as a kid <laughs> also it's just a really good exercise especially for uh, like law school students at least for me to realize what my actual values are and to work from that and see when other people's values come in and kind of mask as my own when I'm kind of walking like I think it's for me or I think I'm making my decisions for me and for my values but it's actually because other people are doing it the main Main thing that the lady mentioned for law students was this feeling that she says most of us have and I'm sure we all have it where we feel like this fear of missing out or this fear of being left behind we come into a law school full of overachievers full of really smart people and it's really easy to feel like we're missing out when a bunch of people are doing something and we're not doing it or we don't see the importance in it so you just end up doing it because everybody else is doing it kind of things like clubs or even things like maybe jobs later on or what you find important can be switched and changed based on what other people in your class or the people around you find important and it might not actually be that important for you <laughs> i definitely felt that personally when everyone seems to be showing interest in like clubs and i don't have any specific interest in that club but I feel like I should because everybody else is and I feel like I'll be missing out if I'm not joining that club or if I'm not showing interest in that club things like law review though I do know that law review is important and the bar association is important I know why they're important less because of the actual usefulness of it but more because everyone seems to be really making a big deal out of joining it out of being part of it and no one's talking about necessarily why um it's really important to them but more of like oh i really need to be in it like why do you really need to be in it i really really like that exercise i thought it was really interesting and helpful i want to maybe do that with myself alone just to make sure that i am um working or choosing things based on my own personal values and not because of anybody else's values or views or for fear that I'm missing out or anything like that. I'm obviously going to get a career in law at some point. I need to be making decisions for myself because if I make decisions based on other people's views, I might end up in a place 
where I'm not going to be necessarily happy or doing something that I want to be doing, doing what I set out to do when I apply to law school, basically. <laughs> I will put the TED talk below that we watch because I also want to start watching TED talks maybe once every week or every two weeks uh, because I find them really interesting and I really enjoyed it. I just got out of the shower, made myself some dinner. You guys have to try this vegan mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. I think they introduced it sometime earlier in this month, September, and I've been having it since like September 1st. It's so good. The texture is actually pretty decent for vegan mac and cheese. I was talking to the cashier and he said that sometimes it can be a little bland so he adds stuff to it. I add stuff to mine too. I usually add like crushed pepper in it and also like black pepper. He told me that he adds the vegan chickenless um, seasoning in it so I added it in mine today and I always have it with some sourdough bread. Usually like the bull bread from Trader Joe's but they didn't have any today. It was like all sold out so I just got this one and then I toast it and it's like super crunchy ASMR and of course I have my wine for today uh, my Airbnb host actually gave me wine so I've been having that I had it in the shower and I'm gonna have that that's actually kind of a lot but I'm celebrating being done with my work early that I can just relax and just do what I want to do today. So now is the time of the night where I get to do my spiritual stuff. So I said I would mention it in the last video. So here I am mentioning it now. I obviously used to do a lot more with like my spirituality. Like my routine used to be a lot more frequent and a lot more complex when I first started. One, because I had way more time and um, just felt like I wanted to do more stuff obviously over the last month or so that has kind of taken a dip because I've just been the busiest I've ever been ever in my life so I've been in the process this entire week of trying to regulate my routine and just like I said in the last video my tips was look at your current routine and then try and change it kind of like in increments um, so I'm looking at my current routine and I have been for the last week and trying to see when I can do things and not when and I'm doing like spiritual stuff instead of like my schoolwork so that it's a detriment to my mental health and I can't like um, meditate because I'm worried that something about school or my reading or whatever so thus far what I've implemented it's been like I meditate every day but not for the same amount of time every day so on my busiest days which is like Monday Wednesdays and Thursdays I will usually meditate for at least minimum 15 minutes and then on my Tuesdays Fridays and then my weekends that's when I do the 30 minute plus meditations I usually or used to really love doing Vipassana think I'm saying that right meditation which is just kind of like silent meditation and there's like a little bell and I do that on like a YouTube video where they do the bell for me but lately I've been really loving guided meditation and for the past week I've been really focusing on the heart and hata I have my crystal for it I think it's the green adventurine and I haven't really been using my crystals as much as I did when I first got them um, because they are more of like a tool I think when I first got them I was kind of like okay this is happening because of this but now I'm kind of switching to more like this is happening because of me and these are tools to get me there so I haven't really felt too called to use them recently so I haven't been but today I felt called to grab it just to help me with my meditation so I'm gonna do that also I feel like spirituality looks different to a wide variety of people because we're all different people and there are so many different ways to be spiritual when I first started even though I'm still a newbie very like fresh newbie when I first started it looked very much like doing you know like rituals like in-depth rituals and like moon rituals and like all this other stuff and now it's very much about like inner work like i'm very very focused on inner work doing things like shadow work is mostly what i do all of the time every other day i journal and if i'm not journaling just from my thoughts or something that's come up i always am always doing shadow work because i honestly believe that it's a lot easier to do things like manifest or just walk in light and love the way i want to be walking in light and love when i am clearing out the junk in my head that's my way of being spiritual right now it's very much about journaling doing the shadow work doing the work confronting my uh, dark thoughts and dark habits not in a scary or very like 
mean or negative confrontational way but it's very caring it's compassionate but it's like a little push and i like it it's not the nicest to realize that there's some things about yourself that aren't very nice or that you're judgmental or that you're mean or whatever but i think it's essential to get you or at least get me where i want to be where i am truly walking in light and walking in love and spreading light and love to everyone who is around me i can't do that when I am confronted with my thoughts and I can't seem to shut them out or I'm letting them influence me because I don't realize that they're coming from a place that isn't real like they're coming from fear and then I listen to them and then I end up walking in fear instead of walking in light and love so that is my method of being spiritual right now that's what I'm really trying to get down um, and get into a routine of doing every other day or at least in a very consistent manner I get questions about spirituality about how to start what to do um, it starts with something small um, something like meditating for five minutes when you've been or never meditated before or journaling or shadow work or anything like that so I hope this helps I'm gonna do some yoga I believe for about 50 minutes and then meditating for 50 minutes today minimum and i would love to do some journaling so i'm gonna do that i will say though that i got a really big download last weekend i was studying outside just like slaving away on one of my case books and i kept getting distracted by the forest so i just decided to just go take a walk in the forest for a couple of minutes and basically it was telling me to that i need to shut up for a couple of days and i googled it afterwards and it's basically called a talking fast i have been feeling it a lot more since I think it was Saturday up until today and for the rest of this week that I really need to or I feel called to not speak for a couple of days or at least for a day starting with a day not saying anything I don't think it might be because I might need to listen to myself more maybe I need to listen to my intuition more or listen to other people more and I'm just talking way too much <laughs> so I'm thinking about going on a talking fast sometime this weekend I think either Saturday or Sunday I'll be on the road then going back home so I think it might be the perfect time before I get home and there's a bunch of people who are talking to me at all times